What's up guys, Pyromaniac720 here and I have for you today a couple more battles, new Oris in-game battle spot doubles ladder. Um, so haven't posted a video in the last couple days, been really busy with graduation stuff. Um, and also was the reason I couldn't attend Massachusetts Regionals yesterday, I had you know college graduation so I had to miss, unfortunately miss Massachusetts Regionals. Um, which really sucked because I was really pumped, but of course it happened all on the same day as graduation. But I will be going to Georgia in a couple weeks, so... As you can see, using the same team I used the last time I posted a video, which is Whimsicott, Infernape, Noivern, uh, Scizor, Superior, and Mega Blastoise. Um, as we find Marcus from California right off the bat, with a 1533 rating. As you can see, our rating is still pretty low. I've been pretty horrible this, um... I've been pretty horrible so far. I don't know why. Like, just so bad at this, um... This... I don't know what I want to call it. Format? Um... This new season of Battle Spot. Like, I was at, up in the 1800s last season, and this season I can't even break 1600. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so my opponent's team here is Excadrill, uh, Tyranitar, um, Thunderous, Sylveon, Terrakion, and Venusaur. So this team doesn't hit Venusaur very well, but it does wall it pretty well with Scizor. Um, Blastoise is really good here if I get rid of the Venusaur. And Noivern actually might make an appearance today because it handles the Venusaur relatively well. Um, I'm tempted to lead Infernape Noivern because the Frisk option will be nice. I think my one issue is... Do I have Tailwind on Whimsicott? I think I do. Yeah, so I have Tailwind on Whimsicott. So I want to bring Infernape because it beats Terrakion... Excadrill and, and Tyranitar. I want to bring Noivern because it's really my only way to beat Venusaur. Although, I'm actually, you know, I'm going to lead Whimsicott Infernape. I'm almost tempted to lead Infernape Scizor actually, too, though. I definitely want Blastoise in the back. See, the thing, if I lead Infernape Scizor and he leads Sand, I can just immediately use Faint and Close Combat right off the bat first turn. I also got to do the same thing with Scizor and Blastoise. I think Scizor and Blastoise looks like the best lead for me, actually. And I bring in Fernape and Whimsicott in the back. Whimsicott will be really good here because of Worry Seed. I'm able to get rid of Thick Fat from Venusaur. I'm able to get rid of um, Sand Rush from Excadrill. <laughs> That's going to make my life a lot easier. So, Blastoise Scissor. And Blastoise is really good in this matchup in general, especially if I get rid of the Venusaur. And my opponent leads Tyranitar Excadrill. Perfect. So I'm curious to see if my opponent's going to switch out Excadrill for... Hmm. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to Mega Evolve. So the issue is, do I want to Water Pulse the Excadrill or Aura Sphere the Tyranitar? And this is part of the reason I wanted to lead... Noivern, because I really wanted to frisk for items. Hmm. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the water pulse onto extra drill and the faint. I can't imagine. He's gotta either protect or switch that slot. If he if he switches, I mean, he's gonna stay in though. So hopefully he protected. That would be ideal right now. He also might just double rock slide and go for flinches at this point. Oh, he protects extra drill. Perfect. Literally, I c unless he flinches me here, I could not have asked for a bet. Oh, he double protects. Oh my god. So that's going to be a perfect first turn. I'm going to actually end up knocking out this extra drill turn one. Um, so that's the, the kind of the beauty of feint is... It makes things like that play was so easy for you to make because there was no prediction really involved. Like, the only thing he could have done was switched out into Venusaur. And even if he did that, like, Faint plus Water Pulse will still do an okay chunk to Venusaur. Especially, no, not Mega Venusaur. But I'm guessing we're going to see Venusaur come in here. Oh, we're actually going to see the Thunderous. Huh. I don't really have a good way to hit the Thunderous, is kind of an issue right now. I'm actually going to switch in Whimsicott. And I'm going to just Bug Bite the Thunderous. 
And it's good to know that is not scarfed, because that's always annoying to deal with. And it's actually Mega Tyranitar, which means I don't have to deal with that Venusaur, which is really, really good for me. Thunder goes right for the Thunderbolt onto Whimsicott. Perfect. Guessing it's Life Orb then? Yeah, it's Offensive Life Orb Thunderous. So this Bug Bite's going to do next to nothing. Oh my god. Do I have Encore in this one? I don't remember if I have Encore. That Bug Bite still does so much damage. That's crazy. Alright, so... Question is, is Helping Hand Bullet Punch knock out Tyranitar? Probably not, but I bet you it knocks out Thunderous. Which is kind of the threat right now to... Hmm, so this is tough. I could Helping Hand Bullet Punch the Thunderous, but I don't want to... Yeah, I'm going to go for that play. I'm going to Helping Hand Bullet Punch the Thunderous. Although, is Helping Hand Faint do more? Yeah, I'm going to Helping Hand Faint, just because in case he protects. And plus, he resists Bullet Punch anyway, so Faint should get the knockout. And I do. Perfect. So now... I'm guessing we're going to see a Rock Slide, which should do a good chunk of damage. We're going to see the Crunch, actually. He really wants to just get rid of the Scizor. But Scizor should be... Yeah, it, does, it is able to take the plus one Crunch. Scizor's defense is really good. I see my opponent's last Pokemon is. It's going to be that Sylveon. That's perfect. So now the question, question is that Sylveon have Protect. Uh, I am going to Tailwind. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Tailwind. And I'm going to just Protect Scizor, just kind of scout out what's going on. Because the last thing I want to do is see that Sylveon Protect. Oh, it's not going to Protect. Okay, so I'm going to lose um, Wim's Guide here to a Hyper Voice or a Rock Slide. Oh, wow, Tarantula actually Dragon Dances again. Good play by my opponent. Alright, so I guess I'm going to lose to a Hyper Voice. I almost worry seeded the... the um, Sylveon just so Hyper Voices were normal type, but... So I feel really good about where this match is right now. Because um, Blastoise beats Tyranitar. And Infernape should beat Sylveon. I'm just going to Aura Sphere the Tyranitar and Bullet Punch the Sylveon. And Bullet Punch should knock out Sylveon. And it does. Perfect. Really good Dragon Dance by my opponent there. Brings down to 4 HP. Crunch comes out onto Blastoise. So Aurasphere should bring it down. Oh, almost KOs it. Wow. And Sandstorm runs out. So <laughs> if I could have just protected that turn, I would have just knocked it out with Aurasphere. Um, so I'm just going to Aurasphere again. And Bullet Punch. And my opponent forfeits. So uh, I think that team played really well that game. Um, definitely one of the big things is that just right off the bat first turn, my opponent double protects. And I get the KO on Extra Drill, because Extra Drill is really annoying to deal with. And I still had Infernape in the back to deal with things. Um, battle Box. So, yeah, really good first win right off the bat. And I actually broke 1600 finally. So, sitting at 1609 with a record of 22 and 13, which is pretty horrible. But I've been goofing around a lot of battle spots. So, you know, I'll try and get serious and get my rating up there once I finish finish up some final touches on my end game team. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised we didn't see the Mega Venusaur there just because that's a really good option for, against my team. As we play someone from YouTube, Nabalu from France with a 1575 rating. Um, with a team of uh, Suicune, Kangaskhan, Charizard, Landorus, um, Tyranitar and Cresselia. So, I like Blastoise here. 
unless my opponent brings the Charizard. I actually don't have an effective way to t hit Charizard, I just realized, on this team. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix that for the future. Um, I'm going to lead Infernate for sure. I think we're going to see the Charizard from my opponent, not the Kangaskhan. So I'm actually going to lead Infernate and Noivern. I think Northern, unfortunately, is my best way to hit Charizard because I can. I have a Spec Strike I can hit it with. Um, Blastoise is really good in this match if I can knock out the Charizard. Last question is: so all three of my final Pokemon all do really well, and not really well. Do all do well? Scizor beats Kangaskhan, uh, Tyranitar, and Cress. Superior beats um, Tyranitar and. Uh, Suicune, and probably Landorus. Um, and Whimsicott is just good support because I can Worry Seed, um, like Parental Bond away. Um, I can Tailwind, I can Helping Hand. But I think I need more offense, especially with that Charizard cause me issues. Um, and I think I'm going to have to go with the Scizor. Oh, that leaves me really no way to hit Superior. I'm going to have to go Superior. I need a way to hit... Oh, what's well, Scizor? Yeah. Scizor will probably Bug Bite away you know, probable citrus berry. Alright, so Nabulu is issuing a challenge and he sends out Charizard and oh, Charizard Landris. Slowly learning my French names. And it's actually Focus Sash. Wow, I did not expect that in the least. I am going to... So that's actually really good to know it's not Choice Scarf. Issue here is both Pokemon in the back don't really do anything to Charizard. Is he just going to double protect? I think they'll give me a free switch into a faint. Although I think in front of him is probably more valuable right now. So I'm going to fake out... The Charizard and Draco Meteor, the Charizard as well. And he Mega Evolved, so maybe he didn't protect. I think to fake out into the Landers is pretty obvious because of, uh, you know, I found the Focus Sash. So he protects the Landorus. Oh my lord, that worked out perfectly. And Draco Meteor gets off without a hitch. Oh my god. This just worked out perfectly. And it almost Oko's it. Oh my god. That was a perfect first turn. Um, so I'm going to Flare Blitz the Landorus. And just Draco the Charizard again. And Charizard protects, okay. I almost doubled, but I, don't, I really don't want this Charizard doing anything to me. Let's see if we see an Earthquake or just a Rock Slide from this uh, Landorus. Oh, I actually burned it too. That's actually really, really useful. And it just goes to the Rock Slide. Um, so that Rock Slide would have done a really nice chunk of damage to both of my Pokemon, but now it's going to do next to nothing. So that actually helps out a lot. Um, I'm just going to Flare Blitz the Charizard and KO it and Draco the Landorus. And I think... Alright, so Draco connects. So I'm going to pick up two KOs here. This is good, because like I said, Charizard is definitely the biggest issue to my team. Um, so, immediately, you know, negating it. It did nothing to me at all. I mean, that first turn, first turn prediction was really good. I think the fake out was just so obvious in the letters because it had the Focus Sash. I think it's so tempting to just break it. Um, which is why, and also I think that for some reason my opponent probably didn't expect me to have Protect. But if he has Focus Sash, I expect him to have Protect. Oh. 
So we're going to see Tyranitar, which is interesting. And Crest come in for my opponent. So two very interesting switches, or, uh, or two interesting Pokemon for my opponent to have right now. I don't think Crest will be Trick Room. I honestly feel that Tyranitar is going to be um, Choice Scarf, whereas the Landorus wasn't. So I'm actually going to close combat, and actually I'm actually going to switch out Noivern into Scizor. I think Scizor is a very safe switch, and Noivern is now at minus four. Um, if this Tyranitar is... What's the, the question is, does Rock Slide knock out Infernape from this range? To outspeed Infernape is going to have to be Jolly. Which means it probably won't knock it out with a Rock Slide. Oh, it just protects, okay. We might see a Trick Room then. Or we're just going to see a Psychic. Good move by my opponent. But I honestly feel really good about where I'm going right now. I should be able to pick up two KOs here, or a KO on the Tyranitar here. Unless he double protects and gets it. Because um, I can just double into him with an Aura Sphere and a Bullet Punch. I'm very curious what his Tyranitar is holding. Maybe a Chopal Berry? I'm so tempted to switch to Noivern just to find out. And Noivern's Pokemon I'm really surprised it's not used more because Frisk is so useful and it's a good Pokemon outside of that. Like it's got good speed and can outspeed and and destroy things with Draco, especially with Choice Specs, which I use. You know, you just run Draco and Dragon Pulse, Air Slash, and Flamethrower. I actually see Helping Hand from Cress. I wonder how fast this Tyranitar is. I don't think it'll outspeed my Blastoise. Oh my god, Bullet Punch almost knocked it out, so it's probably pretty speedy then. Nope, not faster than my Blastoise, which has got no speed investment. So that's going to be game, because of course my opponent has no way to touch my Scizor. And these first two battles actually went really fast, so I think I'm going to do a third one. Um, see if my opponent just forfeits here. I imagine my opponent will forfeit. I guess not, though. I don't. Chris, Cresselia doesn't have any move that can hit a Scizor, like in its move pool, unless it learns HP, you know, unless it uses HP Fire. My opponent just quits, actually. So I will do one more battle because those first two were really quick. Oh, maintenance comes on, actually. So I will not be doing any more battles, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's, um, whoops, hope you guys enjoyed today's battles, and, uh, I guess till next time, bye.